The BJP Nagaland Today released their manifesto for Nagaland Today at the Kohima BJP party office. While speaking on the occasion, Nagaland BJP President Temchen Imna Long thanked JP Nadda for his presence and asserted that it would provide blessings to all BJP Nagaland candidates and karyakartas. He also thanked JP Nadda for inaugurating the state of the art office and making it happen. He then hoped the faithful BJP Angami karyakartas to fight to bring victory to engineer Kropol, who is a BJP candidate from Southern Angami too. Sir, it is with your blessings and with your great initiative that this good and most beautiful building has come for the first time in the capital city of Nagaland and this could be completed with your blessings. Today, your presence is of immense uh, blessing for the BJP Nagaland, especially for the Kohima district, the land of the Angamis, where Engineer Propol, our candidate who is sitting on the front of the front, is going to contest from 15 Southern Angami. Sir, we believe that your presence here will bring a lot of blessings to all of us. I would like to encourage all the candidates of Kohima district on this prestigious moment where the national president is in our office and in Nagaland with all of us. It is of our immense pride that we should uphold as BJP Karyakartas to make sure that the candidate to whom the ticket has been given by our national president should win the election with tremendous victory. It is also that the Angamis who are very faithful and brave people will fight for the winning of Engineer Propol. I wish as the State President, on behalf of all the State Office Bearers and the Nagaland BJP Unit, all the best to the Kohima Unit and the Karyakartas of 15 Southern Angami too. Deputy CM Y. Peton also thanked J.P. Nadda for his presence. He requested all BJP Karyakartas to forget about the seat-sharing issue and work towards supporting its alliance partner and ensure victory of its candidates. He further, along with the whole BJP Nagaland, congratulated J.P. Nadda on receiving a one-year extension as BJP National President and said that Nagaland BJP will abide by all directions under his presidentship. I just want to request all the BJP candidates, let us forget about the past seat-sharing issue. Let us all work together and with your support, with your blessing, we hope and pray that all our 20 BJP candidates will win and have a government with our alliance in DPP. And also, I want to congratulate on behalf of all our BJP legislators and BJP candidates and all the BJP candidates here, sir, for your another one year extension as a national president, let us all give a big applause. <laughs> so with your guidance, with your direction, with your advice, whatever our central leaders under your presidency, whatever you give direction, advice, we will abide by that and we will follow your direction. Thank you so much. BJP President Nadda, while unveiling the Vision 2023 document, spoke about various sectors that the BJP will concentrate on for the next five years. Talking about the Eastern Nagaland issue, he said the BJP will form an Eastern Nagaland Development Board for the holistic development of Eastern Nagaland. He further said that now the budget will now be in proportion to the population of Eastern Nagaland. We will invest 200 crores to establish dedicated department of mother and child care in all districts. We will youth empowerment. We will provide two lakh self-employment opportunities in the next five years. Software technology park in Kohima, agro-processing, textile, MSMEs and tourism. These areas will be developed. We will introduce Dr. Tali Mirem Eo sports scholarship and the recognizing and aspiring sports persons will be given and we will provide them a need-based financial assistance of up to 5 
lakh rupees. We will provide the digital tablets to all meritorious students of class 10th and 12th. We will work in conjunction with the Union Ministry of Education to set up premier institutions like Indian Institute of Technology, Indian Institute of London, and Indian Institute for Scientific Education Research in Nagaland. We will establish IMCO Gliba EO State University to improve the access and quality of higher education. For boosting healthcare, we will have double the per family annual insurance cap of Ayushman Bharat. Ayushman Bharat at this point of time, we are giving financial cover of 5 lakh rupees annually. This will be enhanced by the government of Nagaland under the leadership of Rio to 10 lakh rupees we are going to give by Ayushman Bharat. We will ensure timely commissioning of Kohima, Mon, Kohima and Mon Medical Colleges and 500 crores to double the number of the beds in the government institutions to expand the presence of the daycare clinics at the state. For, we will also develop a Nagaland state cancer prevention treatment policy and we will be investing 400 crores to set up super specialty cancer hospital and research center at Zunhe Boto. We will expedite the operationalization of special economic zone in Dimapur. We will invest an amount of 500 crores to provide collateral free loans up to 10 lakh to MSMEs and entrepreneurs with 100% credit guarantee scheme. So for the MSMEs, we are going to support. One prime, one product scheme will also be encouraged. We will continue building all weather roads for village connectivity under Pradhan Mantri Dhameen Sadak Yojana and more than 10,000 crore rupees work project will be executed. <coughs> we will continue with the network of, of the connect with Kohima by 2024. As I said, we will expand the airways facilities. Here I would also like to share with you that we will establish and this is very important for the media people. We will establish an Eastern Nagaland Development Board for holistic development of the region. We will provide a special package for the development of the Eastern Nagaland. And we will work towards provisioning the budget in proportion to the population of the Eastern Nagaland people and we will provide free rice and wheat monthly, 5 kg of black chickpeas, 1 litre of mustard oil per family quarterly at subsidized rate and PDS beneficiary. Here, in the end, I would also like to share with you that the talk with the Eastern Nagaland people, the leaders of the Eastern Nagaland people, is ongoing with the Home Minister, Sri Amit Shah. Here we commit that whatever commitment Home Minister has given to the people of Eastern Nagaland, we stand committed and we will fulfill it.